What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Jess and you're watching Keto Rewind and today I'm feeling well enough that I want to make a video of uh, some of the foods I've been eating during quarantine. I have two meals that I felt well enough to plan so I thought I'd throw these in a quick video. The first one is going to be a stuffed pepper casserole and the second one is I can't remember. I'll edit it in next. It'll be a surprise for everybody. <laughs> The interesting thing about having COVID is my appetite is non-existent. And if then the fact when I'm scrolling on my phone in like a food that normally would be like, ooh, that looks good. Um, when, I've, when I come across that now, I'm like, ooh, like it just nauseates me and it's really weird. So that's not normal for me. <laughs> I love food. So, um, but I am taking advantage of the fact that I have no appetite and food repulses me right now because it's getting my body and my mind and everything reset um, in a good place so that when things simmer down, all those cravings, all those things are just like, well, I haven't had those in a couple weeks. Why start now? You know, I'm feeling good. So definitely, definitely going to take my the hand that I was played right now and use it to my advantage instead of... Um, being all sad about it. So it is what it is, right? So I do want to say real quick, thanks to the sponsor of this video, Thrive Market, for always being so generous to sponsor my videos. I'll get more on my Thrive Market order for the month um, coming up at the end of the video. But if you want to join Thrive Market today, use my link down below, save 25% off your first order and get a free gift. Um, but more on that later. <laughs> Alrighty, so one of the cool things about being stuck at home in quarantine is being able to shop online at a grocery market that carries all of the keto lifestyle things that I love and enjoy along with other diets such as vegan, uh, gluten-free, uh, paleo, you know, like there's a whole section dedicated to your lifestyle on their website and it makes navigating the site a breeze and easy and showing and it shows you all of your options in one place i don't know about your grocery markets but here if i'm looking for keto things or just say gluten free for example because my husband has to have um, gluten free stuff so i'll walk through the, the aisle you'll go to the gluten free section you'll think that's it well now next thing you know you're down another aisle and there's another section of gluten free like it's all over the place um so that's one of the cool things about thrive everything is in one spot and um, that makes shopping really easy and in, in addition to that pricing is significantly cheaper in my experience than local stores so anyways that's a, those are two really cool reasons why I personally shop at Thrive Market <laughs> so anyways let's go to the kitchen I've made these two meals um, for it took like days to eat these meals I've had no appetite so um, so I haven't made a lot of food since being diagnosed with COVID, but um, this is the energy level that I had and it was good and it was good fuel for my body. So anyways, let's go to the kitchen and see what I made. Alrighty, we're gonna make stuffed pepper casserole. So you're gonna need an onion and four green peppers and about a pound of meat, like I'm using ground turkey. And um, because I have the time and I wanted the flavor, I am hand shredding or shredding by hand my cheddar cheese so you can pick whatever cheese you like um, photobomb by the cat <laughs> but make your pieces all about the same size when you're dicing up your vegetables um, you can just have fun with it and make them whatever size but I, I found that just dicing them was perfect so add a little avocado oil and your peppers and onions to a fry pan and um, let that come to a like or to let that soften and next I'm going to take a pound of ground turkey and mash that up with my meat tenderizer. Let that um, crumble. And um, then I'm gonna add salt to my, uh, my pepper mix. And then this is the leftover turkey meatloaf we had from the other day. I obviously didn't have the appetite to finish it. So we're gonna reinvent it. So instead of using a second pound of meat, we're going to throw it in here. So um, now I added a can of diced tomatoes. Uh, sorry, two cans of diced tomatoes because I could not go to the store and get um, a sauce. So we're gonna have to improvise again. So and it turned out really good. So two cans of diced tomatoes. I drained it so the liquid wouldn't be in there. Um, then a nice healthy sprinkling of garlic, and, um, and then about two tablespoons of Italian spices for Italian seasoning. 
Um, and then a can of Rotel. So we're trying to make a pasta sauce, <laughs> maybe a little ex, uh, extra flavor there and stir everything together, cover it up and let that just warm up and get a little bit more soft. And then we're going to add our ground turkey plus our diced meatloaf mixture. Mix that all up, taste it for salt um, and spicing spices before you throw it in the oven. I found I, it was just spot on, but you know, it, it could need a little extra salt when you add um, the, the meatloaf. So cover it and let that simmer. And then um, we're gonna put it in a greased, or I used avocado spray, uh, nine by 13 baking dish. And then we're just gonna smooth it all out and until everything's nice and flat and top it with our freshly grated or shredded cheese. Um, I, was, I used about three cups worth, um, but go to taste but just go to taste and then stuck it in the oven until the cheese melted. So, ooh, look at all that bubbly goodness. Um, it smelled heavenly. And then I scooped out a tiny bit. because I know it's way under the size I should eat, but that's literally all I could get down. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Okay, so let's see what's in my Thrive Market order for the month of August. Alrighty, so what did I order? It's like Christmas because I order things and two days later I won't remember. <laughs> okay, so we have fajita seasoning mix. I really like their top, the Thrive Market brand. Um, it's kind of kind of like a regular grocery market where they have the store brand. Thrive Market has their own brand. So I love the taco one. So I wanted to try the fajita version. So we're probably going to do fajitas maybe Friday. We'll see. <laughs> And you guys have seen this in probably every Thrive Market video I've posted because these literally are the cheapest through Thrive. Um, they're $25.99 at my local grocery store and they're around $18 depending on specials and all that at Thrive. So significantly cheaper at Thrive. <laughs> and right now we need all the immune support that we can get. Um, and plus these are sugar free. They're sweetened with monk fruit. All right, and of course, I'm still using this shampoo and conditioner by, I don't even know how to say the brand, a cure, maybe a cure, um, but it's a curl shampoo and conditioner. I love it. It just really likes my hair, so I, it's time to buy a new one, so I ordered that. These were surprisingly delicious. I grabbed some of these individually at Sprouts, and I really love the chocolate flavor, so, um, each bar, I believe, has 10 grams of protein. I kind of got them for the combination of like a breakfast bar for my kids or when I'm just hungry in between meals or something because um, the macros are pretty decent. The, the, they are five uh, grams net carbs per bar. So I like them. So this is a new one that I've not seen many people talk about, but check those out. What do we have here? I like those so much that I'm, I might even have to talk to them and see if we can get a deal on this channel. <laughs> All right, we have pizza sauce. I am doing, you know, once I start feeling better and I feel like cooking a lot more, I'll be doing more of the protein sparing pizza. So that's the sauce I like to use. It's by Primal Kitchen um, and it is delicious. And that is it. So I was ordering this when I came back from vacation. So I hadn't had my um, my meal plan really figured out because we were gonna start the challenge. And then I got COVID, so I didn't wanna buy a bunch of stuff <laughs> until things settled down. So um, I ordered the essential stuff that I will be using for sure. And we'll get to the rest later once I am on the mend and everything is back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, we still have to wash our hair. We still got to take our vitamins and random other easy things for right now. So anyways, let's get back to the video. All right, and I had roasted broccoli, cucumber slices with some ranch and some leftover sirloin from the other night as well. Um, then this is my face. I could only get down <laughs> the sirloin and some cu cucumber slices. Quick update on my family. Um, my daughter still has COVID, however, we had to get real creative in making it fun for her because she has her own bedroom and bathroom, so it was easy to quarantine her. Um, and we've just been giving, we gave her a walkie-talkie, a TV, her tablet, Legos, 
books and all types of toys. And she's been staying as occupied as she can for what a six-year-old um, can do. And I'm actually very impressed and very proud of how good she's been. Um, she has literally took this seriously and stayed in her room. So, um, but yesterday she was feeling really good. So we let her go outside and play in the sprinklers and a good old dose of vitamin D. I tell you, this morning she is a happy kid. So although we're still in quarantine, we are figuring out how to make this work. So, but as for me, I'm still feeling fine. And with that said, I'm gonna start cooking some stuff this week um, and trying to film it and get back into our routine um, before all of a sudden <laughs> things went crazy. So anyways, <laughs> that's the update there. Alrighty folks, that is all for today. Uh, don't forget, Orders over $49 have free shipping at Thrive Market and use my link down below. If you sign up today, you save 25% off your order and get a free gift. So I'm Jess, you're watching Keto Rewind. Bye-bye. <laughs>